Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, it's my pleasure to be here and to present to you the experience of Ukraine in terms of real aid uh, system development. Our system is quite new. We have uh, been started, we have started our operations only since first of uh, January last year. But I think that uh, nonetheless we are young. Uh, our experience and our challenges we faced not so uh, far from this moment it will be interesting to probably where you will find the uh, answers to the questions uh, that you have. If no, I will be ready to answer uh, additionally. So, uh, on my first slide, uh, I put some key operational parameters of the critical aid system in Ukraine. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, now we have uh, 27 regional centers across the whole country, and uh, we cover all the territory of the country in terms of provision of critical aid to detainees uh, needs and uh, in criminal procedures. Uh, we have the right on uh, legal aid in our constitution, and also we have special law on uh, criminal aid uh, adopted of, uh, by our parliament. Um, we, uh, our system constructed on the right that we do not have lawyers within the staff of our centers. We contract with them, and we uh, select uh, uh, lawyers uh, to be put on the special register of the person who is available to provide legal aid in my country. So for the time being, uh, we have selected almost 4,000 lawyers, and uh, almost half of them are contracted to provide legal aid. Um, the contract is usually an agreement between uh, the center and the lawyer to provide legal aid, this is the point of, of the goodness of the lawyer to be involved in the system or to wait a little bit and to use this opportunity to try to work for the uh, uh, next stages. Um, we have more than 500 lawyers who are on duty at the moment of real time over the whole territory of the country and ready to come to detain uh, person during an hour after our city after we receive the information about the detention. This uh, timeline uh, is uh, provisioned by the law of criminal aid, and for the time being, we keep this time quite right. Um, around 200 staff employees of the Center for Criminal Aid for free secondary legal aid provision, we have, and uh, half of them are on duty working uh, day after three days of shift. Uh, this uh, system is built as long well as we function 24 hours per day, seven days per week. Um, <coughs> during the last year, we have assigned lawyers for more than 76,000 uh, 76, clients in my country. Uh, perhaps around 40% these uh, clients, it was our assignments in case of detention. Um, level of refusals from defense lawyers uh, assigned to our centers in previous year was uh, around 7%, which for me showed the trust of the uh, society to free uh, legal aid provision uh, in the country. Please, next slide. Here you can see key financial parameters to credit aid in, in my country. Uh, I tried to put some figures in the year before we started to operate just to show you that uh, previous uh, system of provision of credit aid in my country has quite limited budget. And it was uh, only around 1 million euro. But uh, since the system started, has started, we have uh, the uh, budget for a uh, year 2013 about 5 million euro, and we have double the budget for this year to provide critical aid. So it means that uh, our parliament, which is responsible for setting up 
departure from the country is also understand the uh, results of functional affirmative through the update system in Ukraine. Um, here you can see also some uh, interesting figures, for example, expensive field of aid for a client, it's around 65 euro, and total cost for rating uh, for operation of the global system across the country is about 60, uh, 16,400 euro per day. Um, total population became just to just to give you a chance to understand it. the capacity of, of the system is about uh, 46 million people. Uh, average fee to a defense lawyer, if he or she spent uh, around 50% of working hours to fill the main system, is about 340 euro, which is almost uh, is equal to uh, average monthly salary in the country. And, uh, Next slide, please. On the next slide, I show uh, the money flow, which uh, was before the, uh, our system has started. Uh, in previous situation, uh, lawyers can be engaged by prosecutors, investigators, or judges, uh, either uh, directly or through regional collegians. And but still, the uh, control over the money flow was on the hand of, of the state, and the uh, reimbursement of expenses of lawyers was done uh, through regional branches of the Ministry of Justice. Next slide, please. Now we have um, quite a different system of engagement of the lawyers for free without aid. In, uh, no cases of uh, direct uh, involvement by, uh, of the lawyer by investigators uh, is not possible in Ukraine right now. All uh, information about detentions or all requests to engage lawyer should be uh, passed to our center, and only our center will decide uh, about and will assign the lawyer for the case. And now, uh, money from the state budget uh, come to coordination center for criminal aid provision, which is under the Ministry of Justice, and then through regional centers goes to lawyers, which now in this system has mutual obligations with the center on the contract. This next slide. Here you can see budget breakdown exactly in, in the last year. Direct expenses for contract payments thanks to work is about 3 million euros, which this amount we paid to our lawyers, and 1 million of euro uh, was the debt uh, in front of the lawyers that we uh, paid this year. Uh, administrative expenses of the system uh, is uh, 1 and a half million euro, and we also uh, put some investment last year in the system for innovation of facilities and equipment of our centers and electronic information management system. Uh, next slide, please. In this slide, I should just uh, try to put some information of what we do for this one and a half million of euros as an administrator, uh, as an administrator of the system. Uh, definitely we work out messages on detention and inquiries on the Lawyers from prosecutors, investigators, a research and defined defense lawyer, and which is important, we really function as a back office for lawyers that if they face any problems to uh, excel the client, for example, or something like this, they can inform our centers and we, on behalf of the Minister of Justice, can make uh, uh, letters to the Minister of Affairs just to solve this problem. But usually, uh, now, lawyers can say that they have much, uh, much uh, easier access to the client than it was before. Uh, it's also uh, our center accept lawyers' time sheets and payment tags. Uh, our centers track regional police website and main uh, media and receive calls from relatives on types of non reporting or delay information on detention. It's important to the new tool in my uh, in, in development of the system of the regulation in Ukraine as long as this is the parallel system.
system of informing our centers about the threats of detention. If the police, for example, do not inform us, there is a possibility for relatives just to call us and to inform and we accept such information and then we press the police about political changes or in other words within the regions. And uh, uh, please uh, pay your attention on the last line in this list. This back, back, uh, this slide. Yes, this is a new function. We monitor quality of critical aid provided by the friends lawyer. We are just now to do this work and to go on in this direction, but we uh, hope to have success in this case. For the next slide. This is the payment scheme of criminal aid services in case of detention, and it's based on the time of uh, uh, payment for 14 hours. And we also reimburse the travel expenses of the lawyers. For the next slide, here we will see the next slide, please. Yes, here you will see the main formula for calculation fee for services for uh, lawyers who provide uh, the regulating criminal proceedings. And it is, uh, depends on uh, the stage of the proceeding, depends on complexity of the proceeding, and related to specific circumstances. For example, if client under the age of 18, if client with disabilities or psychological disease, or client doesn't speak the language of justice. Next slide, please. And here you can see the main challenges to financial provisions for the delay that we faced in Ukraine for now. It's insufficient regulation for financial provision in certain expenses in criminal procedures, absence of reimbursement for transportation by car at day hours, absence of reimbursement of health protection tools for criminal aid provision, and <coughs> strong health problems, absence of reimbursement for lawyers within streets. Accommodation for dimes, first of all. Insufficient regulation of financial provision for expertise performed by request of defense lawyer in general procedures. Our investigator can uh, order such expertise by the cost of the state, but for the lawyers, we do not solve this problem for the time being, but we are working on this. And also, we now uh, is trying to find the uh, financial provisions for the enlargement of the system, which is the next stage of critical aid in Ukraine, uh, to provide critical aid in administrative and civil cases. And next slide, please. This is the next step, steps that we are trying to, to, to perform. Implementation of quality standards and critical aid provisions, regular monitoring quality assurance and maintenance schemes to include the reimbursement of uh, uh, expenses that I mentioned in the previous slide, and then the bad association and other stakeholders for lobbying for funds, for funding uh, stimulating competition among lawyers, and awareness rating campaign, regular monitoring and administrative coverage. Thank you very much. This is the last slide. Uh, here is the contacts. If you need, please, we'll be glad to answer your questions.